Hi everyone, Gerald here for Langston Tech Line again. Today we're going to be talking about the VHM piston measuring height tool. From VHM we get um, a, di a dial indicator, a surface plate and VHM's unique system that goes on top of the cylinder. This particular program is, is not for experienced tuners and mechanics. It's for the fathers that are getting into the sport and need to know how this kind of stuff works. So the reason we, we want to measure piston height is when you put a two-piece head on or you change your head for any reason, you want to make sure you've got the correct clearance. Now the VHM head does come plug and play. In other words, with a, with a standard base gasket, you should get all the, the correct piston heights and squishes that you need. So why do we do uh, piston height? Well, when you start becoming more of a tuner, you may put more volume. In other words, run a thicker base gasket to, so you get more over rev. Say you're in the sand or something like that. You don't want to detonate, you want to rev high. You do that. If you're on a super crossy track with lots of jumps, you, you, you'd want to go to thinner on your, on your base gasket so you get more compression. If you do that, I'd always recommend mixing some race gas into it so you don't detonate. The minute you start running high compression, you've got to be very careful. You might ask, well, how do I get thicker and thinner base gaskets? KTM on all their, all their two-stroke models offer various th size base gaskets. So let's say for argument's sake, um, the base gasket's half a mil uh, and you want to run 0.4, you might pack two, two times 0.2 gasket so you get 0.4 so you wanted to run um, a little more volume because now you're going to a long sandy track you might run uh, a 0.4 and a 0.2 to get 0.6 other base gaskets are available but we, they have to usually be special order ordered from a, a gasket manufacturer all right so what we're going to do now is we're going to put the dial indicator into the, the VHM tool we're going to want it a little bit sticking out, not too much. There's a little grub screw in here that we're going to nip up. Now, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to put this on our surface plate. Always make sure your surface plate is clean. I just wipe it on my pants. <coughs> and we put this on and we're going to zero this I might have come through a little too far. Let me back this off a little bit. What we need to do next is zero out the dial indicator. Now you'll see there's a little dial on the inside. When that does a complete revolution, that's a millimeter. When this big one does a revolution, it's, it's a millimeter. These are points of a millimeter. 0.56. So watch this carefully. This one's going to go over a, a millimeter and then we'll zero it out. So if you watch carefully, it goes, it's, it's just, it's just over a one. We're going to zero this. The big one is zero. So that would be your reference point. You're either going to be above that or below that. So it'd be, you'd be positive or, or negative. Let's move on to the bike. Now when you're measuring piston height, always take the ignition cover off and turn the flywheel because you'll see with the piston, you can move that piston very, very slowly if you want to. And you can go backwards. If I use the Kickstarter, you'll see it moves too fast and you can't go back. So you're, you're just never getting it correct. So, like I said, always use the flywheel. Okay, let, let me explain um, the various piston heights. They vary from bike to model, and sometimes from year to year they'll change. So, for instance, this 2016-2019 KTM 125 has a piston height of zero. In other words, when, when we zeroed this out, that's the piston height. Now you get a you get a plus piston height in this case. This is a um, KTM 65. It has a piston height of plus 2.45. So this this 
dial from when we zero, zeroed it out will go two, one, two, three, four, five, and then we know, we know we're right. Now this is an RM125 uh, of 2005 year model, and that's a negative. So what will happen with, with this one is it's negative 0.5, so we'll, we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So in other words, it won't, it won't get to the zero. The, the piston will be lower in the cylinder. Now, we'll, you'll see on the box here, it has squish. And squishes are generally the, the same, 125s have the same sort of squish, 65s have the same, but you can, al you can also measure um, the squish to, to double check your, your piston height readings. Now we'll, we'll show you how to measure squish in, a, in another episode. Okay, so this particular engine calls for a piston height of plus 0.4. So what's going to happen? is it's going to go past the zero to 2.4 and then we know we're correct. Using our flywheel to turn slowly we're going to bring the piston up and our reading we're looking for is plus 0.4 so we're on zero there so we're getting close so it's one, two, three, four we're not going to get any closer than that with gaskets, so this is good. Well, I hope that's helped you understand the VHM measuring tool system. If you have any questions, email us at info at or message us below. Thanks a lot for watching.